Oh, the most fun event is absolutely the helo cast. I mean, there's nothing better than jumping out of an airplane or helicopter, you know, aircraft. Um, so the competitors always love that. You know, you get to about 15 feet, 15 knots, and you jump out the back, and then you get to swim in. But for soldiers competing to be best sapper, that fun won't last. Uh, what sets the sapper apart is the creativity and ingenuity required. It is a crucible experience. In 50 hours, they will travel more than 50 miles and they will do many, many activities, all of which have a tremendous amount of embedded physical demands in them. So they will be truly exhausted. There is no planned rest during the competition. 38 two-man teams started, but only 10 remained in the end. Those soldiers completed more than 30 tasks throughout six phases. The, the biggest part about being a sapper is being able to execute your mission, you know, those tactical and technical skills when you're tired, when you haven't slept in two days, when most people would be at their breaking point. Each team attacked the grueling competition differently. I think it's pace. Um, you know, a lot of people like to get after it, you know, push hard always and uh, I think it's it's one of those events where you, if you don't pace yourself you know, it turns into something that could be uh, very painful. From the non-standard PT test that started them off to the final three mile race across the finish line, laying claim to the trophy was well worth the endless hours of ticks, mosquitoes and misery they endured trudging through the woods. It's kind of challenging to have the humility to say uh, you know I, I I'm not good at this. I need you to. I need you to carry me on this one, and uh, it's, it's kind of hard because we're both proud guys to do that. But you know, teamwork paid off, I guess, on that. In the end, mental fortitude carried the day for the winning soldiers. I, I think we just, you know, we, we let the small stuff go. Whenever an event was gone, you know, we didn't we didn't fuss about what we could have done better or anything. We just looked at the next event and kept on. Uh, what did you say? Focusing on the task. Yeah. As soon as we knew that that event was over, we just started thinking about the next event and just started uh, quizzing ourselves on it, getting our uh, minds fresh for the next event. From Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, I'm Specialist Chuck Gill.